Yes. We are going to install the wireless card internal for this one happens to be the Verizon card. It's a Gobi 1000. So as usual, remove your battery and we have to remove the bottom plate. So there is several screws that need to be removed. Just keep tap with your screws. With a flat head screwdriver, just lift the plate. I think I left one screw. Yes, I did. Right here. There we go. Let's try this again. And we'll be connecting in this area. I'm going to remove the hard drive because it makes it easier to work around here. And we're going to have to remove the cover plate because we're going to have to use a different one to house the card. Be two screws. And this is the parts that we're going to be installing. We can start by installing the card. We're going to use two small screws to hold the card down. Connect our cables. Okay. The smallest part are the hardest ones to connect. Make sure to align and be patient. You don't want to bend 
the cable. There you go. We have them connected. Now we're going to install in here. This has a, some wires that I have to remove, but you may have a unit that doesn't have these connectors. So we have to install everything. I have some brackets that I have to remove first. I'm going to reuse this bracket to hold this card down. Some plastic covering. You want to keep this plastic so don't remove entirely from the unit. This one already have the cable internal, but I don't I'm going to replace the entire. It's just easier than try to connect this cable to this unit, so I'm just going to remove the card and use this one. Unplug the two cables. Another piece of plastic in our way. I don't recommend cutting this because there is several little cables that goes under and you don't want to snip that is your speaker wire that goes under and also uh, your wireless card that comes down the wire you don't want to just cut it because you don't want to break the, you know cut the wires that you're going to be needing so just, you can just lift it up and lift this up this is connected to the board so we want to make sure that we disconnect this and we're just going to reconnect this cable into the system board. We're going to reuse the bracket. Three screws are going inside. One. Two. Now your tray is nice and secure. We can connect the ribbon into the system board. Again, be careful. There is a lot of wires in your way. You need to want to bend or break any of the other wires. Once you clip the ribbon down, Just make sure to fold neatly in place. There is two screws to hold the board down. They're silver, so be nice to spot. I'm 
And if you have an MK2 or better, this wiring is already there. If not, you may have to wire this from your antenna and from your wireless port to the back antenna. But MK2s and MK3s, they already come with the wiring. It's black and white with the black being the closest to the cage, the white on the far. Connect that, cover up with the plastic. We're going to reuse the plastic from this one. If you don't have this plastic, a piece of electric tape will do it. Okay, just settle that in here. That's the internal part, it's all connected. You have to put your plate back the right way. And all your screws back. Once you put all the screws back, you're going to work on putting this last rubber part. And that'll go here. It's just over the cable, uh, over the card, and it requires three screws to hold it down. It's two longs and one shorter. The shorter one is going to go in the middle, and the longer will be on the sides. And that's how you install an internal WAM card. Thanks for watching today. For more repair videos, click the link below. And remember, if you have a screwdriver, you can fix a computer.